What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I've got a best of three versus Aquamoth. Uh, the team I'm using is here on your screen. Go ahead and use the rental code if you want to. Uh, I don't have a rental code for Aquamoth's team. If he does make one eventually, I'll make sure to put it in the description. But anyways, let's get on to it. All right, here we go. That is Rayquaza, Swords Dance, Terra Normal, Standard. Um, the... Chen Pao does not have Sucker Punch, it has Throat Chop. The Ensign is a Berry, standard Terra Water. Uh, Terra Fire Rillaboom with High Horsepower. Goggles Araquanid with Soak. Okay. A Thunder Wave Skill Swap, Foul Play, Encore, Tinket. what? I do not understand that Tinkaton in the slightest. Foul Play is kind of scary, actually. That's gonna be their answer. They've got a lot of answers to the horse, actually. The horse may not be perfect. Especially with foul play. Uh, Encore from Tinkaton is a little annoying, too. But I think Calyrex and Valiant are pretty good. It's Cloak on Tinkaton. I like these two. I like setting that up and going for it that way. Necromancer just to block the extreme speed. And a couple fake outs. Yeah, that could be good. Plus, gives me trick room. And then. <sighs> a lot of that stuff can be intimidated. I think I want to bring Hobbs. Not having either of my grass types feels kind of awkward. Like, I kind of want Sinistra. Because I don't really have healing now. But hopefully, this works out. And either way, it'll be super fun. Rayquaza is so cool. And they've got a trainer card. And Tink Tinkaton! Tinkaton's actually scaring me a little bit. I've never seen Foul Play Tinkaton. Foul Play, Skill Swap, Encore, Thunder Wave. Alright, well you can't eat berries, and I can't set weather. And you have Bolt Breaker. What should I be worried about here? Encore? I could taunt an Encore. I think I want to just throw a Lance and coach up. Or maybe I want a Terra. I'm going to Terra anyway, so I might as well Terra now. That would make me a little bit weaker to Rillaboom, but a little bit better against pretty much everything else. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, we see a Terra. It's probably the Rayquaza, if I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, I guess I could see this being just a Dragon Ascent. Plus, like, Foul Play right into Calyrex. And that would hurt. But I would have a defense boost. The Foul Play would still do basically normal damage, because one attack boost, one defense boost, cancel out. Yeah, this should be okay. Yep, I get my coaching. It's not extreme speed. Nice little boost on Calyrex there. I wonder if this takes Rayquaza. I don't think so. Oh, that's greedy. That's a little bit too greedy. You should not have done that. Oh, I get it. All right, that's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, and Rayquaza is still alive. Yeah, that means if Farigarav comes in, it can still extreme speed. That's incredible. I should have taunted that. <laughs> I did not think of that. That's so cool. Um, I think I should still be fine, though. I'm going to Glacial Lance. Maybe I should high horsepower the Tinkaton. Yeah, they don't have anything there. Yeah, they don't have Protect on Tinkaton, so High Horsepower there is safe. And then Spirit Break Rayquaza. That way it can't Dragon Ascent. As long as it can't plus two Dragon Ascent me, I don't think my Calyrex is too scared. Yeah, and they just Protect. This could be Foul Play. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'll take some damage, but then I'll take your Tinkaton and get another attack boost. 
Thunder Wave. Okay, that makes sense. Chance for hacks would be pretty annoying. I don't have any way to get rid of that. And since I was expecting foul play, I didn't want to go for a taunt there. But Tinkerton is down. Okay, just got to deal with a Mold Breaker Rayquaza. No big deal. I'm guessing there's a Rillaboom somewhere. If there's no Rillaboom, I'd be pretty happy, actually. Because Rillaboom is the thing that would be in the back that could be most threatening. It's all physical. Ventisca. That's Chen Pao. Throat Chop. Sacred Sword. Ice Spinner. Um, Throat Chop or Sacred Sword? I only have one defense boost. Um, Extreme Speed plus a hit from, from Ventisca could take out Iron Valiant through my Sash before I can do anything, but... If you don't go for that, I can take out Rayquaza. Yeah, I think I need to take out Rayquaza. If I get hit by a plus two Dragon Ascent, I'm cooked. So I need to make sure Rayquaza goes down this turn one way or another. I will trade all of my Iron Valiant for that. Extreme speed. It is into the Valiant, so it must be a double up into Valiant. I can't see you wasting your one hit with Rayquaza on that unless you're going to take the KO. Yeah, that's exactly what you did. Makes sense. I'm cool with that trade as long as I move. If I don't move, I might be in trouble. Okay, I moved. Good. That's a KO and big damage on the cat. Whoa, huge damage on the cat. Okay, horses going in. Another attack boost for this horse. And then just to keep myself safe, Necromancer could set Trick Room. Hobbs could throw a fake out. I'm more worried about the last thing being Rillaboom. And Hobbs would be great into Rillaboom. Hobbs would be the thing to have. Bubblehead. Oh yeah, I don't care. That's fine. I mean, I care a little bit. Calyrex will beat you in the long game, but... Soak, Leech Life, Liquidation, Wide Guard. No Protect. So I should be able to fake you out. Your safety goggles. Fake out will go before Wide Guard because I'm faster than you. I'm assuming I'm faster than you. You'd have to be pretty fast to catch my Incineroar. 52 EVs in speed here. Yeah, I think that's the play. Cat just protects anyway. Fine. And let's see the speed interaction here. Bubblehead did flinch before the Glacial Lance went off. There would be no point in protecting and wide guarding, I think. So I think that just means you're not min speed. Yeah, I'm happy with a high horsepower into Chen Pao. And what's stronger, half a Flare Blitz or a knockoff? Probably knockoff. Knockoff into the spider. Sacred Sword would... No, that doesn't even do half. Excellent. Knockoff goes before you. Goodbye. And I could have lanced. I could miss here because I didn't go for lance, but like this game is over. Even if I get paralyzed here. Nope, I don't, and I connect. That's a good game one. Okay. Mold Breaker Rayquaza. That's a sick strat. I might have to reconsider for Rigorath entirely. Alright, let's go to game two. Alright, game two. I'm going to lock in these three right away. Calyrex, Valiant, Hobbs. Force them to react. Because they didn't have an answer for it game one. I'm thinking there might not be an answer game two. I can still bring Necromancer maybe. But now that I know about the skill swap trick, I might not want to do that. Um, but it's still good against the double fake outs that they didn't bring. Uh, so I think they would bring them. I think Rillaboom coming makes a lot more sense this time. 
fact, I might hold Terra on Calyrex for that reason. So Necromancer is still good then. I would like to have Sinistra, but the game was so fast-paced, I don't think Sinistra would keep up. And Sinistra doesn't do well into, like, any of those. Because it, can, it can't burn the Araquanid. Rayquaza can easily Oko it. Chen Pao can easily Oko it. Ugh. And just grass resist, grass resist, grass resist, grass resist. I don't think Sinistra does anything for me. And Ogre Pond is the same. It just offensively, it doesn't do enough for me. Honestly, Incineroar and Farigoraph. Farigoraph has no offensive investment, and I think it has a better offensive potential against that team. If I'm being honest. Three, two, all right, you're in. Yeah, this is a hard one. This is a hard one for Aquamoth. <laughs> I've just got a really good matchup. Let's see what they pull out for game two. I'm excited to see what they adapt, how they adapt, because they've got some stuff. Ooh, it's Incin. Okay. We didn't see Incin last time. It's cool to see it this time. It has knockoff, parting shot, flare blitz, fake out. Um, could be a swords dance and try to hit something. They want me to, to protect. I don't have protect on Valiant, so that fake out would be free. In fact, I kind of want to predict that one. I want to just throw a lance. Predict you to fake out here. No, then I should Terra, Glacial Lance, bring in for Igarath. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, because then you're not going to get the fake out. I never revealed that I had Farigarath in game one. Oh, no Terra? Would you really protect turn one? I don't think you would protect turn one. I wonder if I just caught him on a fake out and Swords Dance play. Because if so, that's a game losing play. Oh, no. Don't Swords Dance. Tell me you got some damage off first. Okay, they do get some damage off first. That is not an instant lose. Okay. Oh man, that's still gonna be a rough position. And Rayquaza's down. But Rayquaza wasn't gonna last long anyway. Alright, plus one. Now you bring in Rillaboom, and I, I start to sweat. No, it's Ventisca. I don't really mind Ventisca. I kind of want to high horsepower the Ensign, but I could see it getting out. And then just a throat chop into Necromancer, maybe. I'm not going to get Trick Room up. I mean, they could let me on accident. So I'll throw the high horsepower and go for a Trick Room, not expecting to land it. But if I do, that would be great. Yeah, it's a Throat Chop, but that means you can't swap out. You stayed in. Parting Shot will fail if you go for it. It's probably just a knockoff. Yeah, just a knockoff. If I connect this high horsepower, you don't have an Ensign. And so I don't care about my clear amulet anymore. Yep, goodbye. That's two. Oh, I did not need that crit. Calyrex, you're insane. We didn't need that. Uh, and then no matter what it is, it's intimidable. In the back. So I'm going to go with Hobbs now. Um, yeah, because if it's Rillaboom, they have priority and they can take out Valiant before it moves. So yeah, I'm just going to go Hobbs. It's Bubblehead. Cool. Bubblehead is very non-threat. In fact, I'm going to... I think I'll fake out Glacial Lance, like, like last game. 
It'll do some damage on Bubblehead. The Fake Out will prevent a wide guard. And if Fantisca doesn't protect, it loses its Sash. I don't think it KOs Calyrex from here. Uh, maybe a Crit Throat Chop would. Because I intimidated it. But if it just crits through that Intimidate, that could do a lot of damage. So we'll see. Uh, and then Valiant. Valiant's okay in the endgame. Spirit Break hits both of those. We did not see a Terra yet. It's Ghost on both. I'm surprised to not see the Terra Ghost then. I guess... Uh, I guess you don't want to take damage to this Glacial Lance. That's a lot more important than... Oh my goodness! Maybe it doesn't matter. Wow. Okay, Lance and... If you do crit the Calyrex and KO it, my best play would be to knock off your Araquity. If you just wide guard, I still take your Araquinid. Yeah, this is fine. Even if you wide guard, this is fine. This is the play I want to do. Yeah, it's throat chop, does it crit? No. I don't think that actually I don't think that would have KO'd with a crit, seeing that damage. 2.25 times the amount of damage it just did there does not KO. And then we get the Glacial Lance. Because there was no wide guard. Ooh, yeah, that's a GG. Single target moves. Good game, Aquamoth. I just had all the I had all the tools. This was an amazing matchup for my team. I had every tool I needed. From Farigraph to just being able to bulk up my defense with coaching in that game one. Yeah, here's the Sacred Sword. Again, doesn't do half no crit. A crit there would have KO'd, but it would have been no point because Glacial Lance takes it. And that's down, and that's a 2-0. GG's. Was fun. It's cool to see Rayquaza. Shiny Rayquaza is like probably the coolest legendary in my opinion. Good game. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting all of the best of threes for this tour, so stay tuned or go back and watch them. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.